today we're going to be doing a little experiment. So have you ever wondered if the heart rate monitor on your wrist is accurate? Well, we're going to find out. Uh, today I have my uh, Garmin 735 XT and it is synced with my Garmin Tri heart rate monitor and I have my old watch my Garmin 235 and it is on just regular heart rate monitor on the wrist. I'm going to be running these at the same time and we're going to find out if they're accurate and if so how far are they off. Now I I have no predictions here. I did have a running coach friend of mine say that they were off eight to 10 uh, beats per minute. So we're gonna test that theory. And this is sort of important information if you're doing things like the Maffetone method or, or heart rate zones and things like that. I mean, if you are eight to 10 beats off per minute, not really getting that accurate of a reading on your training. So I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna find out how accurate the wrist heart rate monitor on this watch is. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a go. We're gonna run these at the same time and then we're gonna go look at the data afterwards. A few minutes later. So off the bat, the left side here is the chest heart rate monitor and this is the wrist heart rate monitor. Big difference here in calories I noticed. Right here, 726 versus 689. This is the exact same run. The pace was also slightly off and elevation gain. Okay, obviously calorie difference. Um, one big difference here. So average heart rate, this undershot by two beats per minute. This is probably the reason why the calories are off. Obviously, there's other things involved with the calories. Even two beats per minute average over 45 minutes equals like 18 calories or something like that. That's probably has something to do with that. But if you look here at max, you got 172 and then all of a sudden we got 183 over here. And there's this little spike right here, right there. Now this is, there's a bridge that I go over and I believe that that's, that's what caused that spike. But over here, same area, that's what we got the 72. This is probably, when I look at uh, time in zone, what, what's happening with the wrist heart rate is it's, it's changing the, the various zones. So you look here at the numbers, I have 160 plus is zone five. I was in that zone for 28 minutes according to my heart rate monitor. While over here, it bumped it up probably because of this and I was in there 21. So this, the spike here essentially is causing your zones to all shift and change. This one, like all these numbers are different. You look at the laps and for the most part, things are pretty close. This is two off, two, one, you know, three, one. Most of these are the same, except when you get down here, it's the, the average is the same, but we have this spike of 11 beats per minute. So I think that pretty much cons confirms. Average pace, it seems to go pretty close. You don't see a lot of difference with the average pace, wrist versus chest. It's when you really start, you pick up the pace or you, you know, shift gears, so to speak, in your run that you're gonna see some fall off. Like it's gonna count, say you're working harder. Now you say, well, what, what, what difference does it make? When you look at the stats here, basically my watch with the heart rate monitor, my training effect, it basically said I was a, I was running a, out of five. So the training effect is one is, is zero to five. If you go here and look, you, so, okay. So you got no benefit, zero to, to, to 0.9 is no benefit. You go for a walk or something, this is probably gonna be in some benefit. Maintain, this is gonna be, you know, between two and three. Now we're starting to get into zone three, four, and five. So you go over here and the same workout, it said was basically max. I was, I worked a maximum aerobics in this, which is a huge difference for your training. So I would have to say, overall that this confirms it. Now it's not it's not as cut and dry as being eight to 10 beats per minute off, but it is gonna throw off things like your zones, it's gonna throw off your calorie count, it's going to say that you worked harder than you did or didn't. All right, 
guys. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button. And I'm still trying to get to those 100 subscribers so I can have a URL that's not 20 characters long. Uh, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and run positive.